The Lord of the Rings, The War in the North, starring Schmaragorn, Schmarwin, and Schmimli. Hail, Strider Aragorn, what say you? Did you know in the second movie I broke my toe on that helmet? Perhaps we will have help in this task. Is that elf lady Laura Bailey? How many Laura Bailey elf games do I gotta play? Hello there, Donadine Ranger. Can you find five turnips for me, Sai? Oh, she is a side quest? Wow. Hello. Oh, never mind. She just says hello. No side quest for me. These orcs got a lot of health for level one guys. It could be he's blocking every single swing I take. That could be it. Press Y to perform a heavy attack. There we go. Block that moron. Allies, get up. What are you, what are you guys doing? I know the ring is around here somewhere. Frodo said he dropped it in this bush. Oh, that's why the eagles couldn't take the ring to Mount Doom. They got chained up in Lord of the Ring War in the North. Thank you, video game, for fixing that major plot hole. All right, listen up, bird. When I cut this chain off, you better go help Frodo. Don't wait till the last five minutes of the movie to show up. I thank you, friends. Oh. <laughs> Without your timely arrival. I mean, I knew they could communicate. I didn't expect him to have that voice, though. <laughs> That's great. It's too dangerous. <laughs> yeah, let's just not do the quest. It's too dangerous. Sorry. We're not going to play this game. See you later. All right, what's Laura Bailey got? She's got staff, hit, and she's got gun. Oh, it's a machine gun. This is the character I prefer. Hold the trigger and press A to make the eagle kill a orc. Get him, eagle. Only kill one of them. Don't kill all of them. I got to justify my paycheck somehow. I may be short in stature, but I can sprint... Not that fast, okay. I'm just short, great. I thought elves were meant to have long lives. I thought elves were meant to have long lives. Hey guys, you'll never guess what I think about elves. Is that Sauron's tower? Sauron is here? What's he doing in some random ruins? Not every spiky tower is Sauron's tower. I, you're right, that's true. It could be Saruman's tower as well. But uh, the movie was called Two Towers, so there can't be more than three. This is the kind of game you hate to get assigned if you're an IGN reviewer, because after like five minutes of playing it, you get it. The whole game is this. But you know you have to finish the whole thing. And you know that when you give it a 6 or 7 out of 10, all the comments are going to be, Uh, actually this game is a masterpiece, IGN. This is the best game ever. This reviewer does not know what he's talking about. Turret section. Okay, I take it back. This is the best game of all time. IGN should have given it an 11 out of 10. Hey guys, check it out. I got a new sword. Isn't it, isn't it so cool? Um, Gimli, that, that sword is twice your size. What is it with the men in this game and needing to have a giant sword? Don't listen to her, Gimli. I think your sword is cool. Yeah, giant sword bros. Woo! We got big blades. It's time for me to test my giant sword on this giant troll. Taste the power of my steel, foul creature. You don't scare me. I've beat the asylum demon many times. So, you guys see Hobbit 3? Yes, it was pretty bad. It's kind of annoying how it has fake dialogue choices to make you think it's RPG. Just stop pretending you have a storyline. Let me cut an orc in half. Are you a suicide bomber goblin? You are, aren't you? Shoot him. <laughs> oh my god. Good thing they didn't have these guys at Helm's Deep. If they had a few of these suicide goblins, they didn't be done for. Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? Then a halo grunt spawns behind him. Kill him. Jaro. Do you choose games to play based on Laura Bailey? Yes, I do. There's got to be an Into the Bailey-verse game where all of Laura Bailey's characters get together and fight each other. Oh, yeah, yeah. First, they don't trust each other and they don't get along and they have a fight. But then the evil powers are there and they have to fight the Dark Lord's minions with the power of friendship. The main reason to play is a green guy is because the word Dunedain is very fun to say. He's kind of a boring sword character, but you can say Dunedain a lot of times. Like, watch this. Sorry, orc, the Dunedain's gonna cause you some Duna pain. Using the power of the bow, the Dunedain can attack at Duna range. Who's your favorite Lord of the Rings YouTuber? Mine is Dunedain TDM. Oh, what? There's weapon durability in this? That's what the anvil means? Come on. So the amount of coins you have to pay to repair stuff is pretty negligible. Like, I have like 2,000 and it costs like five to repair my sword. So why does the repair system exist at all? Aha, you were having fun doing the combat, but now you have to return to the hub world and spend five of your gold pieces on the blacksmith. We did it, guys. We made the most fun gameplay mechanic ever. Yeah, we must separate for a time, my friends. But Eagle Man, we're at Sauron's tower. Just fly us to the top and we can win the fight. Yeah, that, that's why I gotta leave. I can't just fly to the top and there'd be no game. Sorry. Hey, come over here. Okay, I guess. I was gonna go this way. He's escaping! If only we had a giant eagle. Hey, the eagle actually came back. I thought the eagle wasn't gonna help. The eagle is helping. Wow. Oh, never mind. Travel to the Barrow Downs? Uh, I guess. Tom Bombadil might be here, though. Watch out for his long songs. You picked up Battle Worn Barrow Guard's Pants. Is that a pair of pants that a Barrow Guard took a dump in? Oh, spooky goblins, that was scary. Now my Barrow Guard pants are battle worn. If you're making a Lord of the Rings video game, why are you gonna say, you know what we should do is front load our game with a zombie cave section? There's nothing cool in Lord of the Rings to explore. Definitely no iconic locations or enemies to fight. Just go through the zombie cave. I wanna fight an elephant. I wanna fight a dwarf. I want to fight Elrond. I want to fight the Easterlings. I want to fight Smaug. 
But no, first I gotta shoot all these zombies. And then Frodo did hit a zombie with his blade. And then Frodo did hit a zombie with his blade. And then Frodo- Hey, are you making fun of my zombie cave? Oh, no, no Dragon Priest from Skyrim. It's it's very cool. I've always been a fan of Draugr tombs. Shut up, I heard what you said. Oh, finally, Rivendell. A breath of fresh air with its elven elegance and not being inside of a caveness. You have more than earned such an explanation. Oh, Gandalf is Clone Wars announcer guy, yes. So they got a Gandalf character model. They got an Aragorn character model. Clearly they have the rights to Gandalf and Aragorn, but they're like, you know what? Let's not make a game where you play as them. Let's make a game where you play as Bozo the Dwarf. Even Gollum game is gonna let you play as Gollum. Look, Master Dwarf. It is the sword Andruil, shattered many centuries ago. It has remained in pieces, awaiting its rightful master. Oh, Andruil? You mean uh, this old thing right here that I just have lying around? <laughs> this guy? What? How have you come into possession of Andruil? Honestly, I have no idea, man. It was just kind of in my inventory when the game started. Would the story of Lord of the Rings change significantly if some random dwarf just like stole Aragorn's sword from that statue? Could he have still won all those battles of Helm's Deep if he didn't have a cool sword? Is that Frodo, Lord of the Ring? Hello there, Master Frodo, Master Baggins. Oh, hello, Master Dwarf. I'm afraid I'm in a foul mood. You see, I've lost my personal blade. Oh, you lost your, your famous sword Sting? You mean this one right here? <laughs> this sword I'm holding right now? It's just the one you're looking for? And then, when the cave troll did pick up Gimli, Gimli mashed X 75 times to escape its grasp. But alas, 75 was not enough. He had to mash 372 times. And so he took seven damage, and was forced to read the Aragorn in the House of Healing chapter to get his hit points back. A fate much worse than death. My sword is now on fire. Don't ask how it happened. I use the forbidden power of the One Ring to download Cheat Engine and give myself stronger gear. Many great men have succumbed to the Ring's power, and I am no different. Because look how much damage this bow does. It does like 700 damage. Oh my god, they got Smaug in this? Screw Lord of the Rings Gollum. I want Lord of the Rings Smaug. Oh no, they got the Dragonborn. This is bad. Hey, wait a minute. Actually, Dragonborn, can you help me kill Smaug? We got a Smaug looking situation up in that cave over there. You want to go kill him for me? I'll give you 300 septums and an axe that does 8 frost damage per second. Break Silver Dwarf. Let's go. I want to see Gimli and Legolas infiltrate the airbase. That'd be good. I cannot jump the decision of the testament. This looks like a Dark Elf city in Total War Warhammer. Dark Elves are the best faction in Warhammer. So that's a very good thing. Comment below your favorite Warhammer fantasy faction. If you say hi, elves, we can't be friends. I am a Nazgul. Prepare to get killed by me. I definitely don't die in one hit to Eowyn. I'm truly a threatening foe. Oh god, a bird! With the power of my lightning bolt, I can levitate off the ground slightly and construct a boss arena of mine own design. He's flying now? Oh, <laughs> yes! The dwarf just said they fly now. Oh my god. I can't believe that dwarf said they fly now. <laughs> oh, that made this whole game worth it. Consumed by his own lightning spell, Agandor turned into a helmet and fell under the floor. Lord of the Rings, The War in the North. If you have two friends, this game is probably much better. The single player is fine. All the enemies have too much health, or I'm really bad at the game. It could go either way. <laughs>